have a 2014 Ram 1500 pickup with the projector headlight assemblies. So this one's full water and the light does not work at all. And got a level of water in there right about there. And the back harness in the back is all corroded. So I had to replace the harness and the headlamp assembly. I'll show you why, because it's all corroded. And uh, if yours has got water in it and it's wet or not working, then you need to replace the whole assembly with the connector. All right. So some people say, don't remove the grill. Well, there's a big old piece sticking way down in here. So I recommend taking the grill loose or off. Okay, in order to do that, we need to lift this piece up so you can get to some screws underneath here you know 10 millimeter head ones so you got fastener 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 and a fastener and you can lift it up and remove the tens and you can pop the grill out and you might as well just take these off so you can just take the whole thing off so okay we're gonna do that panel is off now you got a 10 here 10 there 10 there, and 10 there. Remove those. Okay, the bolts are out, screws out. Go ahead, pull this out. Go ahead and grab it at the bottom and unsnap it. It snaps into some clips on the bottom. <clears throat> Clip there. A little snapper there and another clip right there so another one right here so it really really ain't that big of a deal it's not that much taking you out of the way by removing the grill next you need to go inside the wheel well if you want you can turn the wheel to the to the right that way you get a little bit more room in there there's a door right here i don't know if you see it right there and it's got a fastener Use your door panel tool to lift it up, pull that fastener out, so you don't lose it. And then you got your little door here. And then inside there, there's a white clip that you push down. That clips into a little ball that's on the back side of the headlight, headlight assembly. Let's see if I can show you on the new one what it looks like, the ball. That's what the ball looks like, okay? And a little clip is white and it's inside there and you push it down and it clips right in it it might even no it might even clip into that but i'll see if i can get in there and show you what i'm talking about all right i got a wheel turned let's see if i can see it in there there it is see it it's to the right of that uh, missing bolt. It's to the left of it, okay? A little white piece of plastic, you push it down. I'm gonna push it down and then I'll bring the camera back in there. Unfortunately, I think it's already down from when I took it out to inspect it the first time. So, sorry. But there it is to the left of that missing bolt hole. Right. Hopefully you got that plastic clip pushed down. And then right here we got a 10. And right here is another 10. Need to remove both of those. Okay, this is the top one and this is the bottom one. It's pretty long. It goes through a little spacer. And there's the fastener. So now you can go ahead, pull this out a little bit, try to get your hand over here and pop it out. I'm sorry, you're supposed to push it up, unlock it. All right, pulling it down locks it in place because it clips into this little lever, so when you pull it down, it, the notches go over it. I had it backwards. Sorry. So you wanna push it up. Oh, 
you know, push it up. All right, like that. When you're going back together, you want to have that in the up, up position. This is where the ball stud goes. You want to put a little bit of grease on there. All right, and then you want to disconnect it. And it's got those nice uh, Volkswagen connectors. Put your screwdriver, a little, uh, little flat blade pocket screwdriver in here, and you pry it down and it lifts it up. Or you can stick a pick in there and lift that little notch up at the same time and then pull this off. Uh, my connectors are pretty much corroded. So I got my headlight out. And it's all corroded. It was full of water. Let's see. I'll stick it like that. Can you see any water coming in there? But yeah. It was full of water. Yep, there it goes. It's running now. See it? So if you got water in there, your connector's no good. All right, so that's how you get the headlight out. Now I have to replace this connector and a new connector doesn't come color coded so you should do one at a time okay and use uh if you use the crimp style connectors make sure that they are the shrinkable type otherwise you should solder it there we are amazon 15 bucks Okay, I got all my uh, shrink buck connectors on there. I put a little bit of gray silicone sealer on them. I rubbed it into where the, the crimps were in case the sealer inside the uh, crimps didn't work its way over it to seal it. And then I zip tied them together. I didn't do it real close to pull them out. I had some slack inside there. No, because you zip tie it too close and the, you'll pull the wire out of the connector. And then I trimmed the ones that I didn't use a little bit shorter, like two inches. And then I zip tied them together up out of the way. And then I double checked my lights to make sure they work. Turn signals work, running lights work. I double checked my headlights and they did work. So now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. Put a little bit of lube inside my ball stud. And I make sure my square opening is bigger. Remember, you gotta pull it down, not push it up. Okay. And this one didn't come with the back cover, so I gotta switch that with my old one. All right, I put the headlight over here. Got it centered and got it lined up and boop. Popped it right in where that ball stud goes. Got my little tent up there started. Got this tent down here started. And I snug them up. Now I can go inside here and I'll push my uh, clip down. All right, I reached my hand inside the hole. Found that little white clip and I pushed it down and it went nice. Now I can go ahead and put my little door back on with my fastener. And that will complete the driver's side headlight. I'm gonna do the passenger side one too, so. Yep, remove the 10, remove the 10. Open up the little door, reach your hand in there, find that white plastic clip, push it up. Perfect. Now all you gotta do is pull this out. There you go, the whole thing is out. And this one's full of water too. Great, I wanna place another connector. This one's looking good. Go ahead, put a little bit of dialetic grease. I forgot to tell you, I put some dialetic grease on your other connector too before you plug it in. So, make sure you do that. Dielectric grease. Dialectic grease in my connector. A little bit of grease on my little ball stud and my little socket and on my little notch. So now all I gotta do is get it up in there. I, I double checked it to make sure it worked. It worked. 
So now I'm gonna do is get it over here, line it up, get the feel for it, and push it in. And then get your other two bolts ready, put some ANCs on them, and have them ready to get started. All right, the headlight is in, you got your 210 snugged up, got your little clip, push it down, got your door closed. Now all you need to do is put that little cover back on the cowl. No, put the grill back in, then the cover. All right. See these things here? That's where those tabs on the bottom get clipped in, okay? So you know. All right, get your screws started. Go ahead and go around the sides. Pop it in, go around the bottom. Tap it in there. Go ahead and snug these up. This is a machine screw, machine screw, and coarse plastic screws. If you really want to do something now that's really help you out would be to blow out your radiator. You know that dirt in there? Go ahead and get a long blow gun and blow all that dirt out. Try to help your AC and also your cooling. Blow out your condenser also. Okay. Cover is on. Grills on. The lights are in. And you already double checked them to make sure they work, so you're done. So hopefully I uh, helped you out with this video and hopefully you helped me out by subscribing to me. And I appreciate it. Have a good time. All right. Bye.